Hey everybody, Emilio Takas here. Today I'm gonna show you how you can easily color grade your S-Log3 footage in Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins required. This technique can be used also for S-Log2 or any log footage that you have with any cameras. Without any further ado, let's go into Final Cut Pro 10. We are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface and the first thing that we want to do is uh, press Command N7 to bring the panel for color grading. We can do that also by going to Window, Workspaces and click on the color and effects. Now, we will drag uh, an adjustment layer on top of our clips and if you don't have an adjustment layer I have placed a link in the description down below for you to download them. I prefer doing adjustments in adjustment layers and not in the clips. So now we are clicking on the adjustment layer. We can hide the browser window and the first thing that we want to do is uh, go and click the show color inspector and we will go to shadows and we will drag them down until we reach around zero here as you can see we can get down the mid tones as well and also we're gonna drag the highlights up just before the 100 here after that we're going to saturation we're gonna bring the saturation up at around 70 and already we have corrected uh, pretty much the video that we're using from SLOG3. If I go here and disable the effects and then re-enable them, you will see uh, the difference that we have as we play the video, the before and the after. Now the second thing that I want to do is go to the color inspector, click on the color board here and uh, click on the color curves. We're gonna create a small S-curve effect so we can make the black a little bit fade out. You can adjust that uh, in your own style however you want it. For me, I believe something around here is pretty cool. I'm showing you today a very basic steps that you can use. Uh, you can use your imagination and go even further. You can uh, change the red or the green or the blue uh, curves as we see here. Now, next thing that I want to do is go to color wheels and I'm gonna put a little bit of teal in the shadows and a little bit of orange in the mid-tones. And also I'm going to change the temperature a little bit to the right. Perfect. Now if you want you can play with the curves and give the look a little bit of more vintage look or washed out. Uh, you can make it even darker here. and you can customize it until you reach the look that you want to see in your video. Now let's go and take a look on the final before and after video. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, it helps a lot and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this one. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.